So this pretty much describes um, all of my emotions right now. I think I'm probably closer to this right now, but yeah. This has been a super hectic week. My son was home for six days because he had two symptoms of COVID and the school wouldn't let him go back until he tested negative, which he did. I got super like spaced out, frustrated, emotional, everything that's going on with schools. It was a big just deal for us I'm trying to make videos and I made a puffy jacket video again for the second time, not realizing I had already made the exact same video four months ago. Are you as upset about my video situation as I am? I was in the airport when my wife texted me to tell me that um, my son was being sent home from school because he exhibited the symptoms of COVID and that he may have it. So that was a fun flight when you, you know, get up in the airplane for three hours and you don't have any cell service and all you're doing is wondering whether your son is going to be okay. Uh, thank God, obviously he's fine, but it really messed with my mind this past week and got me just even more ADD than I normally am because I'm legit the most ADD person in the world. Oh, squirrel. This is how I know how ADD I am. Um, I made the entire video not even remembering that I made the entire video, but let's see if you guys remember uh, me making this video. Uh, here's the jackets that I talked about in the other video, except for maybe one or two, but tell me if you remember some of these. And I'll put the names up on the screen because I don't remember them. <laughs> We got this Arcturix jacket right here, uh, awesome. Um, we've got this other Arcturix jacket here, a synthetic one, super awesome. Love this jacket. Uh, got this Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisper, the original one, super awesome. Are you guys remembering some of this stuff at all? Um, I talked about hoods in this jacket and how much I can't stand hoods sometimes, but actually now I'm starting to like hoods a lot more. Talked about this jacket. This is the uh, Patagonia Micro Puff. Fantastic jacket. It's a synthetic jacket. Love this one. No hood. Uh, this one wasn't in the other video, but this is a new one. This is my wife's jacket. This is the Patagonia uh, Nano Puff. She's coming with me on a backpacking trip, by the way, in a couple weeks. Uh, but this is another jacket. Wasn't in the old video. It's in this video. Are you remembering? Are ya? And then I had this jacket in there, which was uh, another Arcturix jacket, super lightweight, weighs like seven ounces, fantastic jacket, no hood. <sighs> I can't believe I didn't remember making that video. Oh, I'll show you one more jacket, by the way. It is my new favorite backpacking jacket. Um, I wore it in Utah last week. I was in the desert, and you're thinking, desert? Well, how could you wear a puffy jacket in the desert? Well, the temperature swing was ridiculous. It got from like 90 degrees during the day to the low 40s at night, so I needed a puffy jacket. New favorite, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that one in a second. But in the meantime, let me just show you. Check this out. Here it is, completely edited, completely done. <laughs> this thing is literally done. All I have to do is hit publish on YouTube and it's out to the masses. I bet you people would probably actually want to see this video. Would you guys want to still see this video even though it's like a duplicate of the other one? Are you going to like dislike it and all that stuff? I don't know. I could still do that. I could still hit post on this video. I'm not sure I'm going to want to do that though. I don't know. What do you guys think? So this video is actually sponsored by Backcountry and um, I make a video about once a month for them and I'm always talking about how awesome their gearheads are. So I think we should put it to the test. They, they don't know I'm doing this. So let's log into Backcountry's website and talk to a gearhead. Let's get over to Backcountry here. Talk to one of the gearheads. What is your name? Dan Becker. Choose an item from the list. Thank you for choosing to chat with one of us. All right, my name is Joanna, Joanna B. Oh, she's typing. Hi, Daniel, how can I help you today? Oh, can you guys see that? Let me just make sure you guys can see this. I'm looking for a backpacking puffy ultra light. What should I get? 
Ooh, the Patagonia down sweater jacket, men's or the Rab Microlite down jacket is probably our most popular. Five minutes later, she's already got links to some of these jackets. Let's check this bad boy out. All right. Ooh. These guys are former Olympians, they're former athletes, they're former trail guides, and they are there to help you. Proof is right here. Head over to backcountry.com. I do have a coupon code, it's DAN15 for 15% off. Some exclusions do apply, but you know, maybe it'll get you a couple bucks off. Okay, so I'm gonna show you uh, my favorite jacket, my newest favorite jacket ever, and I'm gonna use the video from <laughs> the video that I uploaded. Um, that I've already done, but this jacket wasn't in that old video. It's in this new video, and I'm just gonna show you the footage of this jacket so you can see it. Please take my word for it. It is a fantastic jacket. All right, here it is. This jacket is the Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer 2. So this is the updated version from the gray one that I just showed you a minute ago. The only difference that I can tell between this one and the other Mountain Hardware jacket is that this one's made out of like recycled materials and it's about a half an ounce to an ounce heavier. And I think this one has a listed weight of the amount of fill that they put inside of the jacket. I wanna say it's around three ounces and I don't think they ever listed it for the original Mountain Hardware jacket. I could be totally wrong on that. So if I'm wrong, somebody's gonna let me know in the comments. But I feel like this jacket is actually warmer. Love the color, love the look of this thing. Super lightweight, weighs under nine ounces. Um, very, very packable. Okay, so I'm not gonna tell you exactly which jacket you should be buying. However, I did tell you what my favorite jacket is right now, hands down. Hey, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe for more. Hit the bell notification so that I can send you a video every time it's released. Also follow me on Instagram, which I will put right here. You see that? That's my Instagram right there. And I will see you on the next one.